I wanted to do a quick demo of what I mean by tokenizing templates so that we can use the new email templates with tokens and make us much more efficient in using Marketo in a way that can drive such increased efficiencies for all teams involved. My question is, can you look at these two emails and tell me what the difference is? It's actually a trick question because these are exactly the same, except that the setup for this one is using tokens. And what I mean by tokens is that it's using Marketo tokens, which are at the program level and can be applied throughout the entirety of your emails, your interesting moments, your landing pages. It can build a significant amount of efficiency if you use them properly and use them in best practice manner. In this example, I'm using these tokens throughout the email copy, and that made it so that I can change these tokens and on the fly have the email reflected immediately. So if we look at the actual copy that's in this email, you would see it in not the test or in the written version, but in the tokens. So as a as a marketer who maybe doesn't have experience with email coding and doesn't want to you know, risk messing up the code or having to have somebody come in and QA something if it, if it looks wrong, I take out the stress of having to worry about that by using tokens. Sender name, sender email, webcast title, webcast or subheader. All of these things can play throughout both the emails, the landing pages, and by emails I mean the invitation. You can set up a template that's like, let's say this is the on-demand email viewing segment or email template. Then we have one for the invitation, the follow-up. It can all be templatized with tokens to make it super simple to launch a webcast or gated content or what have you, a campaign um, email. So you'll see also, let's say I change this title to I love tokens for bullet two. When I hit save, we're gonna go back to the tokenized version and go to preview. And that token is now reflected in the email copy. So it's not a matter of taking out flexibility, it's a matter of building structure around what we believe to be the best, um, best practices for conversion, practicing them throughout, making sure that we have short, concise copy that really gets to the point of what, they're, what the end user is receiving in the content, webcast, campaign, whatever it is that we're sending their way. And this is all still clickable. It is the exact same email. It's just using tokens at the program level to take out the worry of email coding and make it faster to launch different tactics.